Hey everybody, it's Daniel. Today we're going to learn about Work Manager. So say you have a task, like say you want to upload a bunch of photos from your Android app and you want to upload 25 images and you want to do it. It doesn't have to be right now, just sometime in the future. You want to upload all of these photos. Um, there, in the past, there have been a number of ways to do that, but now probably the recommended way would be using Work Manager. So say you, know, you have 25 photos and they're, uh, they need to be processed or they need to be uploaded to a server or something, we can use Work Manager to do this all in the background and it's all managed by Android. Okay, cool. So we're going to do um, Work Manager. That's fine. I'm going to include Kotlin support. Uh, I have, I'm just going to set it for Android P here. Um, it is it is a new library, um, so I'm, I'm just doing this for now. So next, uh, then we'll just do basic activities, fine, finish, and this should open up the Android Studio project. If I give this a couple of seconds, uh, you'll see that it'll load here just a second. There we go. Okay, cool. So um, well, as soon as it's loaded, I can just close that because we're not going to be using that. Uh, then all of this code I'm just going to get rid of because we don't need. So what do, what do we have to do to get set up with uh, work with Work Manager? There are a number of things. Uh, let's go ahead and go. To, I have a couple of tabs open. So if you just Google Android Work Manager and you can get to it here, I already have it open. And we see we need to add something to our uh, Gradle dependency. So let's go to the bottom. I think they have work here and this is sort of working but they don't actually have the work version uh, that's kind of messed up a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and copy that go back to Android Studio uh, I'm in Android view I'm gonna go to my Gradle and I'm gonna add this down here and now to get the actual version because I assume there's just a bug on their page where it just doesn't have the right thing I'm gonna go to maven.google.com and if we search for work we see work here we can just copy the runtime. We can just copy that and go back to Android Studio and we'll paste that in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and format it because there's a little bug there. So sync now and this should sync all the files. It'll pull in everything so we can use it. So give it a couple of seconds and it's running and it's complete, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that because we're done with it. So what do we need to do? There are a couple of things we need to do. Um, let's go ahead and just create our Let's go ahead and just create our class that's gonna like um, upload photos. So we'll do a Kotlin file. We'll go ahead and call this, uh, what should we call this? Photo uploading, uh, let's do background photo up, up. Uh, er, and we'll take this a class. And this needs to extend, so there's something you need to extend, you need to extend worker. So here it is and you'll see we have an error. So I'm gonna go ahead and do option enter and I'm gonna implement the methods. There's a do work method. Okay, so cool. So inside of here is where all your work's gonna happen. So you have your photos, you know, upload photo, uh, fo if I can type photos to server here. So you do all that work there. And if you notice, this is, have, this is forcing us to return something. So we need to return a worker result. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do return. I will do worker result dot success. Now there are a number of these. Um, we're not gonna go into it in this video, but there's failure, there's retry. We're just gonna stick with the success for this. Okay, so so besides this is all this is the setup for uh, work manager. Um, so normally you just put all your logic inside of here, and I think I read that it does that in the background. So you don't have to worry about that, I think. I think that's correct. Anyway, so all your all your work would go there. Okay, now back into main activity. What do we need to do here? So let's go ahead and just, I'm just gonna do it as, just as simple as possible. So we'll do the basics here. So we'll do uh, task, we'll just call it a task equals, and now there are a number of classes, or there are a number of classes we can use, but in this case, we just want one, we don't want, we want it just to happen one time. So there is one time work request, and there's a builder on that and we pass in and if we look at the parameters here we need a class so i'm going to go ahead and use this background photo uploader so we'll do a background photo uploader and uh, then in kotlin you have that and uh, then at the end of this i think we need a build and there you go okay so this is our task and we're saying hey i want you to do a task android i want android to do a task one time we're going to set up kind of this builder pattern here. We pass in the class that we want, and if we command click on that, we can go to here, and here it is. And that's where you'd upload all your photos, and that's where the success is. Success is. Uh, so we have a task here. Okay, now what do we need to do next? So there are, there are just a couple more, couple more lines of code, then it will be done. 
Um, we'll do a work manager equals work manager dot get instance, and then we'll do work manager dot unqueue, and then we'll pass in the task. So we say, hey, here's our task that we want to perform. Uh, just a little bit of setup there. Uh, then we have our worker. So I could really get rid of that, but what we're doing is we're basically saying, hey, whenever there's you know, I'm going to push this to the background. You figure out a good time to run. So, uh, so we do. We use our work manager there, and we pass in the task, and there we go. So, if I go ahead and go into, I'm going to go ahead and put a log statement in here. So, Daniel, and we'll and we'll do um, uploading photos to Google Cloud form, and there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go back into main activity, and I'm going to go ahead and run this. So I already have an emulator open, and I think I have an emulator open here. And this is uh, not with without Google APIs. And let's go ahead and let's Gradle build still running. You can see at the bottom there, and it's done, and it's installed, and here we go. So if I open up my log cat, we should be able to see a lot of stuff. But let's do this. Daniel... Um, and then we see, yeah, here we go. So it says Daniel uploading photos to Google Cloud Platform. So that happened right away. Um, now there's there's more advanced stuff we can do. So say we want to kind of monitor this and know when it's done. How can we do that? So we'll do. So we have our cloud. We have our meth, We have our variable name, a work manager here. So let's do this. Work manager. Dot get status by ID, and we're going to get our task. Dot ID. Uh, then we're going to observe this with observer, and here we are. So inside of here, we have a variable, the it variable, and we're going to, so it's saying, hey, so get our work manager. So there it is right there, our instance, and we're going to get a status. Now each task has its own ID. So we go up to task and we get an ID from it. Then we say, hey, we want to, we want to measure, we want to get notified every single time that changes. So I'm going to do if, I'll do it not null. Then we'll do Dan. Uh, let's do. Then we'll say status change to. And then a uh, two. And we'll do. Then we'll do. Um, actually, we can do that. We can do it. Dot. I think it's state dot is finished. So we'll just do this. So I'm going to go ahead and run this in the emulator, and I'm going to do that. Uh, then if I go to my emulator, we'll see it should pop up here in just a second, and it does. And we see, so first down here, uploading photos to Google Cloud Platform. So that's right there. Uh, then we have status change to false. So that's our emu that's our kind of that's our initial value there, I guess. Uh, then it gets changed to true. So it does this task really fast. So this is work manager, and hopefully you learn something. You extend worker. You, first you create a class, you extend worker, you have a do work method. Inside of here, you do all your background stuff that you want to happen in the background. So tonight or tomorrow or whenever, um, and you can you can just this is kind of the basics. So you, you don't even need that right there. If you just want to stick with three lines of code, you can literally do that, do that, and be done with it. But there is some more advanced stuff I can show you briefly. So we have constraints we can use. So uh, constraints equals let me do constraint dot builder. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, and then we can do, what can we do? Oh, yeah, so uh, so we can say, hey, we, we can do, like for example, we want to require it to be charging. So set char uh, requires charging, true. And then, we will wa and then we want to set requires battery not low or network type or we can do all kinds of stuff here, but this is, uh, oh, then what we do is we tack it on to, I think here we could do like uh, constraint, yeah, set constraints so I can put my constraints, oh, I commented it out. Let's get rid of that. We'll, we'll go ahead and just do, uh, if I can import that, I think it's what we want from the work. Let me want build. So we could pass our constraints in here. Okay, so that's how you do it, and you can say, "Hey, we want it to re we want it we want the phone to be charging," or if you just put a dot, you can see some other stuff. So there's also there looks like there's charging, battery not low, network type, device idle, uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff you can do. So hopefully you learned something from this. 
if you have if you have questions I have some time so if you want to leave a comment uh, below I might be able to get to it but anyway hope you learned something and see you next time